Good morning. Welcome to Renew, a daily devotional for you. My name is Daphne and I'm a member of the College and Career Ministry here at Mainland. Today's devotional is titled, The Best Kind of Obituary. We'll be reading out of the book of Acts, chapter 9, 38 through 39. And for as much as Lydda was nigh to Joppa, and the disciples had heard that Peter was there, they sent unto him two men, desiring him that he would not delay to come to them. Then Peter arose and went with them. When he was come, they brought him into the upper chamber, and all the widows stood by him weeping, and showing the coats and garments which Darkus made while she was with them. During the days of westward expansion in the United States, life on the frontier was anything but certain. Hundreds of people were buried along tr alongside trails and in small cemeteries without much notice or remembrance. At one point, Missouri newspaper called the Mountain Echo ran this notice. If you have frequent fainting spells accompanied by chills, cramps, corns, bunions, chillplains, epilepsy, and jaundice, it is a sign that you are not well, but liable to die any minute. Pay your subscription in advance and thus make yourself solid for a good obituary notice. Every day we are making a record that people will remember after we are gone. We may never be famous or well known, but there are people whose lives we are impacting for good or ill, and they will remember what we have done. The obituary that we are writing with our actions will long outlast anything that may be printed or posted online. The encouraging words we speak, that kind actions we perform, the generous gifts we give, and the faithful witness we present are the best kind of obituary there is to leave behind. The opportunities of today will likely not be repeated tomorrow. We must seize each day and do all that we can for God and for others in it. In truth, none of us knows what the next day will bring. The only day we have for certain is this one, and we must not waste it. Jesus said, I must work the works of him that sent me. While it is day, the night cometh when no man can work. John 9, 4. Today's growth principle, the way we will be remembered after we are gone is determined by the way we live today. How are we living today? Um, when I heard the title and it said the best kind of obituary, I thought um, usually uh, for obituaries, you, you want it to sound good. You know, you want it to sound good because you're, you know, you're speaking of this person's life while they were, you know, when they were still existing. And um, you wanna say good things um, make it the best that you can make it, but were they good? You know, you could say good things all the time, but were they good? You come across somebody for the first time, you know, and, and you may say something uplifting to them that they needed at that moment. If you know it in your heart and you feel like saying it, just say it, you know, and, um, yeah, cause tomorrow's not guaranteed. And um, I did um, also want to mention First Corinthians. Um, First Corinthians ten five. There it is. But with many of them, God was not pleased, for they were overthrown in the wilderness. Instead of being concerned, worried, overwhelmed, if you're pleasing man, other than your parents, um, check to see if you're pleasing God. Um, when I saw that, just that first part, but with many of them, God was not well pleased. Like, there's everything throughout the day. I think if you keep, you know, like the, uh, this was more Catholic, uh, and I was back in the day, you had the, what would Jesus do? 
I remember we had those wristbands and you know, yeah, what would you do? And if you live like that, when it is time for your obituary, you ain't gotta worry about them saying good things because they'll know, they'll know. And it'll be very simple, just as easy as that, so. All right, now let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, uh, thank you so much again for this opportunity of Renew, Lord. Thank you for every individual that's watching this, Lord. Praying for uh, the ones that may not know who you are, Father God, that they, you know, uh, once this is over, that they uh, call someone from mainland or they ask a friend uh, to uh, speak with them, Lord, uh, about their salvation, Father God. Uh, I thank you for just the... the um, meaning behind today's devotional, Lord, um, and what exactly that means to each and every one of us, Lord. I pray that we take time to meditate on that. Pray that we pray for one another, Lord. Pray for our, our world, Lord. Pray for our nation, Lord. Um, I thank you for all of the blessings seen and unseen, Lord. I thank you for constantly forgiving and just being an all-loving God. Um, I pray uh, that we let others know about these renews, Lord, and that we continue to, um, you know, take time to uh, do them in our own time, Lord. Um, they're here and they're available and uh, they're very beneficial, Father God. Thank you so much. In your sweet, precious name, I pray. Amen.